So just a quick couple updates from this week in VR. So this is a huge month for the Oculus Quest, and I wanna make sure you hear this. This is possibly an even bigger week for Oculus Quest owners, and I think it's safe to say all of virtual reality. First off, after the feature-packed release of Quest Software version 25, Oculus this week released version 26, and along with it came one really big feature I didn't even know I wanted, couch support. Oculus enabled the placement of your couch in your VR play space. So you won't see the couch in game, but you will see it in your home environment. One of the coolest features is the Oculus knows when you choose to sit on the couch and switches from the room scale guardian boundary to the stationary boundary. Setup is available in experimental features under the settings gear. The quest will lead you through running the controller along the front of the couch and that's it. Really, the implementation of this feature is just done so well. True Wireless PC VR has officially come to the Oculus Quest. Virtual Desktop, an app that allows you to play and access your PC for 2D games and stream 3D video, initially enabled you to stream Steam VR and Oculus Rift Store games from your PC wirelessly to your Quest. However, Oculus nixed this, causing its developer Guy Godin to place a special version without this restriction on the side Quest store, making things a bit more difficult for less tech-savvy Quest owners. With the recent introduction of the Oculus App Lab, which is a place developers can sell apps still in development, Guy submitted the version of Virtual Desktop with the ability to wirelessly stream VR from the PC and they accepted it. So this is huge news. A wireless adapter for the Vive or Vive Pro is $350. And that's on top of the $1,200 for the entire Vive Pro kit. Like hand tracking for the Quest 1, Facebook allowing VR streaming from virtual desktop raises the value of the headset for current owners. I had both TPCast and wireless adapter for the Vive and Vive Pro and hated having to return to a tethered solution to use the index. So now that the Quest has a Facebook approved wireless VR solution, I'm seriously considering using the Quest over the index. To hear that coming out of my mouth is bonkers. So there you have it, a couple amazing updates and a great week in VR. VR has really started hitting the mainstream and with a ton of surprises along the way, it's just getting so damn good. And you know what? It's about time. So thanks for watching. I'm Greg, do me a huge favor and subscribe to this channel push the like button and leave a comment. I hope to keep you informed and entertained and with new content on a weekly basis. Your time and participation means the world to me. You can catch me at the links below. I'll see you here soon.